Hey there guys, welcome to my walkthrough playlist of the OCR MEI 2018 new A-level maths paper 2 which is uh, pure mathematics and statistics. As always, I'm doing every question in its own video. You can get to the playlist down below. I'll link the website down there as well so you can get the paper. Um, also down there will be paper 1 and paper 3. If you're finding these useful, please give us a thumbs up, get subscribed, be awesome. Okay, let's go. K14, we have a large data set or pre-release material, as I see I like to call it. So, uh, the pre-release material includes data on unemployment rates uh, in different countries. A sample from this material has been taken. All the countries in the sample are in Europe. The data have been grouped and are shown in figure 14.1 times. Okay, cumulative frequency uh, curve has been generated for the sample data using a spreadsheet. Uh, this is shown in 14.2 times. So it's not looking very good. So Hodge, good old Hodge, used figure 14.2 to estimate the median unemployment rate in Europe. His answer is 5. The correct answer for this uh, sample is 6.9. Part 1 says there is a systematic error in the diagram. Identify the error and uh, state how this error affects Hodge's answer. Okay, so as I said, I didn't look right. The problem is that the plots have used the midpoint from each interval. That's not right. With cumulative frequency graphs, you use the upper bound of the interval as the x coordinate. So that's the error. Now, what that means is every point is. 2.5 to the left of where it should be. So that reduces any estimate by 2.5. Okay, then part B, there is another factor which affects Hodge's uh, estimate. Identify the factor and state how this factor affects Hodge's estimate. Okay, so again, thinking about what we've done, we've grouped data together. So if instead we had discrete data, then we could get an exact estimate for the mean. Now also, by grouping the data, well, we know that even though plotting this thing wrong uh, essentially shifts all of the points 2.5 to the left of where they should be, his estimate of um, 5 is only 1.9 less than 6.9 as it should have been. And that, the reason that it's not been uh, shifted by the 2.5 is again because we've grouped the data. So when you group data, any estimates or any values that you get are just estimates because the data is grouped. Okay then for part two, uh, use your knowledge of the pre-release material to give another reason why any estimation of uh, the median unemployment rate in Europe may be 
misleading. So, in the large data sets or pre release material, our figures are rounded. So, there's that. I think we get away with saying that. And also, figures given by countries for unemployment rates will largely be estimates. They are not going to be exactly right. So, I would say either one of those and you're cool. Part 3. Use your knowledge of the pre-release material to explain why it is very unlikely that sample has been randomly selected from the pre-release material. So for this, remember that we were told every country was from Europe. In the pre-release material, there are countries from all over the world. It's incredibly unlikely that all the countries chosen at random would just be from Europe. And next up, uh, the scatter diagram shown in figure 14.3 uh, shows the unemployment rate and life expectancy at birth for the 47 countries uh, in the sample for which the information was available. Okay, so we've got the unemployment rate along the bottom and life expectancy at birth along the y-axis. Okay, then we're told the product moment correlation coefficient for the 47 items in the sample is uh, minus 0 0.2607. Um, the p-value associated with r is minus 0 0.2607 and then 47 is 0 0.0383. For two marks, does this information suggest that there is an association between unemployment rate and life expectancy uh, at birth in Europe? Okay, so first up, the minus, so R is minus zero point. Uh, 2607 suggests negative correlation and the p-value is significant at the 5% level. So, I would say yes. Okay, then for the final part, Hodge uses the spreadsheet tools to obtain an equation for the line of best fit. The unemployment rate in Kosovo is 35.3 uh, but there is no data available for life expectancy. Is it um, reasonable to use Hodge's line of best fit to estimate life expectancy at birth in Kosovo? One mark. Okay, so 35.3 is over here somewhere so there's no data in this region and we got this outlier all the data really is clumped over here so i would say even though there is some correlation given that the point is way to the right of the rest of the data i would say it would be inappropriate to use a line of best fit.
ครับ